In this movie, you can see some search and replace functionality in Bluefish. First, we'll start with a very basic search. Like edit, find. We're going to look for a function called slideshow in a large PHP file. That works. Another way to do search is select some text and click find from selection. As you see, the selected text is now looked for. A more advanced way to do search is to search with regular expressions. Regular expressions are a bit out of the scope uh, for this movie, but we'll show you some of the uh, powerful things you can do with it with, within Bluefish. We're going to look for all functions. We have a regular expression here, which uh, looks for everything that starts with function, and then it, it ends uh, with it brace. We're going to use POSIX regular expressions and we're going to bookmark all matches. As you see right now we have no bookmarks for this file. This file is called big PHP file and we click find all and now we have a bookmark for every function in this file. So we can easily just click uh, to a different function and look what the function is looking like. Next to searching with regular expression patterns it's also possible to replace with regular expression patterns. For example, we want all our functions uppercase. So we search for the same thing, but we, we want the function name We're going to replace uppercase match again POSIX regular expression, replace all. No, that doesn't work. And as you see, all the functions are now uppercase. We can also do a more advanced type of uh, search and replace with regular expression, we can use sub-patterns in uh, the replace value. For example here I have an XML file which, and we want to change for example the name of this tag. But it's a bit difficult because we also want to change it here, but we don't want to change it here and we also don't want to change this one because it says contents and not content. With regular expression patterns we can do this. We can search for something which is the closing tag is uh, optional starts with content and then it has a space and well something more which is also optional and it ends with the closing tag this time we replace it with subpart pattern 1 which is this part and sub pattern 2 which is the closing part here. We choose again POSIX regular expression um, and I don't think we need any other uh, options so replace all and as you see it worked. The ones that we didn't want to replace are not replaced and everything that we wanted to replace is changed. To automate these kind of things it's possible to store search and replace in the snippets plugin. I've built it already here, but I'll show you what it looks like. The snippet, it has a title, this one doesn't have a description. It searches for the same pattern as we just had, but it says percentage zero here, and it replaces with the same thing we had, but it says percentage one here. Percentage zero will be replaced with the tag to replace, percentage 1 will be replaced with replace with, so we get a pop up. It works within a selection, it doesn't use POSIX but uh, regular expressions. So, I select some text, double click the, the snippet, tag to replace is new name, and replace with uh, 
new again. As you see, these are again replaced. So we have essentially stored our search and replace in the snippets plugin. There are also some special varieties of uh, search and replay sections in possible. For example, uh, as you see here, this is not possible in XML because this is a tag and it is actually text. What we can do, replace special characters to entities. We select convert XML characters, click OK. And this is the more correct way to do it. Another possibility in Bluefish, which is a special form of search and replace, is a block synchronization. For example, I have here two files which have a header start, header end. This one also does have header start, header end. There could be many more of them. And often with headers you want to, uh, want to keep them synchronized, also in large websites. For example, I'm changing the header to my header, so it will be English. And I want to synchronize this through all the open files. This can be done with the block sync. Select the block, select replace special block sync. Now the start marker is selected, the end marker is selected, you get a warning. Everything between header start and header end in all documents opened in this window is replaced. Proceed, OK. And as you see now, it's replaced. Both files are now synchronized. I hope this gives you an idea of the search and replace variety in Bluefish.